Hi, I'm Richard and over the last five years I've helped students to get into LBS's highly competitive Mars and Finance with a 76% offer rate. That's nine times the 8% national average, meaning that for every applicant there are 12 others trying to take that. But today, for the first time, we're going to be going through the tips and tricks amassed by my network of over 1,000 professional admissions and ex-admissions officers to help give you a competitive advantage in your LBS application. Now, this is a post-experience course. You must have at least two years of relevant finance experience before applying to this course. If you have less than two years experience, LBS has a master's in financial analysis and we'll be doing a separate video on that and we'll link it in the description below. But my number one tip for this course is to have a solid five-year career plan. Now, LBS have hidden criteria they have seven areas of your application that they will mark you out of five for before deciding whether or not to invite you to an alumni interview. They won't tell you these criteria, but we're gonna give you some of them today to make sure that you hit them to give yourself the highest chance of getting into the interview. And one of those, the most important we're told by ex-alumni, is a five-year career plan. Now, it's not enough to just say you want to be an investment banker at a top finance firm. They're looking that for you to have a specialist career and an impact. For example, being an FX or a bond trader, knowing if you want to work in front, middle or back office, understanding which experiences you have and how that's going to help you to excel when applying for jobs past the LSE, Master in Finance. In fact, you can think of applying to this course as being similar to applying to a job more than applying to university, because LBS wants to know that you're going to help their 98% of graduates to have a job within three months of graduating. Now, before I say the second insider tip, if you'd like to work with a professional such as myself or another ex missions expert in our network, you can contact us using the details on screen now or in the description below. We'd love to help you give yourself an edge in your application. Now, tip number two is to have an impact. Everyone will be talking about their work experience. And remember, this course requires you to have at least two years of professional postgraduate experience. But you want to be talking about the impact that your teams have had. That's talking about pounds and dollars, percentages, or impressive brands that you have worked with. Now, if you're early in your career, then you might well have not had the greatest impact. In which case, my tip for you is to talk about the successes of your team. Which multi-million dollar transaction was your team involved in? Which startup did you help to launch and receive funding? Talk about the successes of your team and then talk about the impact that you had in helping your team to have that success. Impact is another of the hidden criteria that LBS want to see to help you to stand out. And remember, on average, People applying to this course have six years of work experience. So there's nothing wrong with perhaps waiting another year before applying to make sure that you're competitive. And people like myself can help give you advice on in which year you're most likely to get in at the soonest. Now, my next tip is to research your alumni interviewer. If you get an interview and you hit those hidden criteria, then you will be interviewed for about 45 minutes, typically by an alumni. A top tip is to research and add them on a social network such as LinkedIn. Find out what their specialisms are and when they graduated. So the first question you can say is, I saw you've had this fantastic work experience at this bank having graduated. I'm really inspired. Could you tell me more about it? What a good way to start and show your research and get your interview doing the talking to take a bit of pressure off of yourself. So the average GMAT score for LBS's Master in Finance is a bit higher than others. It sits at about 710, but that will fluctuate between about 700 and 720 each year. But it shows the quantitative ability of the candidates that you are competing against. We at the profs have specialist GMAT tutors, and we recommend at least 10 weeks to get that score above 700. And you want that score above 650 if you already have a quantitative degree. But we also help over half of our applicants to secure a GMAT waiver, so they don't have to take it, by using the uh, mass knowledge that we have 
on focusing on your quantitative ability and how you use quantitative and communication skills that the GMAT is there to test each day, as well as or talking to your referee about how and what percentile you fitted into in your university or professional degree to help give you the edge. Even those who don't secure a GMAT waiver through us on average receive an offer which has a score 30 lower than that average, meaning they can put more time into the rest of their application and smashing the alumni interview. Now, that is just three of the 52 tips that our team has amassed for LBS applications support. If you'd like to work with one of our team in order to give yourself the competitive edge, we would love to help you out. In addition, if you'd like to look in the description box below, you can sign up for our perfect personal statement and the five pillars required for any master's application. Beyond that, if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to leave a comment, we try to get back to all comments to help give people the edge in their applications. Good luck in your application.